What's up, Scrollgers? It's the Nerp here. And if you look at the rankings, I am second to Antirad, fellow Badger, but he is three rating above me. And we're going to try to uh, take that spot for our 15th number one weekly winner badge today. And we see we have uh, just about 45 minutes to do so. Um, and I'll play some Mono Decay. Uh, this is my current Mono Decay deck. I've been switching up between Mono Decay and Mono Growth lately. Uh, Mono Decay I think is more fun to play. I, I, I like Blade Seed, it's not amazing. Um, just, Mono, this, this deck feels very solid right now. Uh, it really ramps pretty high. And I just can win with the big Watcher Geddon thing. I actually had a pretty unlucky Watcher Geddon. Uh, in today's ESL tournament, I lost the cash flow in the round of 16 because of a really unlucky watch again. I'm not sure the math there, but there was like a like a much higher than 50% chance, like a I don't know how high, but uh, like I had five things around a watcher, and I just needed to hit the bottom idol once, and then I would have had the win, but it like didn't hit the bottom idol. So uh, yeah. And I'll be back when a rank match is found. Oh, actually it was found right now. Okay, I'm glad I felt, filled that in between time with talking. So I wouldn't have to do much editing. And crab it familiar. Hello and good luck, have fun. Uh, so now this is an interesting hand. I think I'm going to keep it. I can go 2, 3, I have no 4, and then I have a 5 and a 6. I'm actually going to hold on to the halls instead of the Oblivion Seeker. And hopefully he's playing, like, Growth. I mean, I usually beat Growth with this deck. Um, probably the best matchup for it. He is Growth, and having a turn 3 Rot Eater is really nice. Uh, or do I keep the Brain Lice? Now I'm going to play the Loyal Darkling. I need something to get in front of the Rot Eater. And it looks like, since I know he's Growth now, I wish I... I wish I had to uh, have the Witch Doctor instead of the Halls, because Witch Doctor is just so good against Growth. But Halls is really nice as well. Because Growth doesn't really have ways to deal with Witch Doctor, besides just a big Relentless unit. So well, hopefully he doesn't have a Brave here. He, may, he might be reluctant to play a Brave, because I could have a Soul Steal. You gotta always expect the Soul Steal, one of the best scrolls in the game. And he goes for Decay. Alright, what is what kind of deck is he playing? I will get rid of the Loyal Darkling here. I'll just play the Rot Eater. Um, is he playing some Mata Control? If so, actually it's good that I sacrifice the Witch Doctor. I really have to... I'm going to get rid of the Wilmire Rot Eater here. I have to get the Rap Guys out. I want to get the Oblivion Seeker and the Halls out. That's going to really help. And... I'm probably going to spread the idol damage out over three idols because um, it's important that I get them below 10 because three husks from a Necrogen, husks, uh, do not take it down unless it has nine or less health. So is this Samata control? He can go with his first Samata here, I don't think he's going to though. I should be in good shape if I get that Halls out. And he doesn't have like a rattle him or something. Alright. He's thinking through his sacrificing. He goes for more growth. And he's going to play Samada. And he's going to get the Oblivion Seeker. It's probably what he wanted. Alright, he's going to play that. I will. Um, first of all, I'm definitely going to play the Oblivion Seeker. But now here's the... Do I want to attack the his oblivion seeker he gets scrolls and this gets some more health i'm gonna have to get rid of it anyways right you know let's deal idle damage yeah i'm not gonna give him free draw i mean it'd be nice to draw like a languid for that oblivion seeker but worse against the worst he kills my little darkling oh well And we'll, we'll move off the row, so if he wants to kill my little Darkling, he'll have to leave the Scavenger Construct open. we will probably have something else to put in front of it then. I don't know. 
I'm not sure if Crab Familiar wanted a uh, Oblivion Seeker there or Kindle Veteran there. I mean, these some auto controls. If you didn't know, the guys, you could, the creatures they have are Oblivion Seeker and uh, I want to see the Life Stealer, but it's important that I get this uh, uh, Halzo Moss out. See, so yeah, I'm gonna do just that. Go like this. Yeah, so Kinfold Gutteran and um, Oblivion Seeker are his only creatures he's gonna ice. He's, he's going to Soul Steal, even though he's going to die of poison anyways. Still probably a good Soul Steal there. And we'll see what uh, Krabbit wants to do here. He can deal damage to the Oblivion Seeker or destroy my little Darkling. If he destroys my little Darkling, I'll be able to de uh, deal damage to the Construct. Budding Retreat. Okay, I'm afraid he's gonna. This is like one of those big combo decks. You know, what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, okay, at this point, I think a Witch Doctor was a good draw because I have humans on the board, so that was pretty good there. I can get rid of the Harvester for scrolls, and I'd rather get rid of this Myers Shambler. And I have a Necro Gun, so that's cool. Okay, Witch Doctor is really nice because if he's going to have like a big deck that's going to pull off a big Necrogeddon or something, um, that Witch Doctor is going to be the perfect defense because his guys won't really be relentless. Alright, there's a, a, uh, a, whatever it's called, a Kinfolk Veteran there. And now, now I'll take the Life Stealer. And hmm, I'll get rid of the Rot Eater and play two creatures. So I'll put that there. And oh, I didn't have to sacrifice resources there because it bugged me retreat. Whoops. Budding Retreat deck could actually help me pull off a big Necker again. So I can't waste these attacks. Hopefully he doesn't have a damning curse for that witch doctor. That's really worst case scenario, damning curse. So my next turn I'd hope to draw I guess another Halls on Lassa because my Halls on Lassa is about to expire. And when you stack Halls on Lassa you actually get one extra round of the draw. In case you didn't know that. A Watcher wouldn't be too bad. He's going to Rat King. Is he going to make a big combo play this turn? Rat King essentially costs one resource when there is a uh, Budding Retreat out in play. That's how Miracle Pudding decks work. Because like Budding Retreat combined with Budding Better means your resources can increase while you play creatures and then you can play a big Necrogen and God Hand type things. I'm pretty sure that's what Carver Familiar is running right now. Plus like Monstrous Brood for... Uh, really uh just getting more drawn he'll probably have an animal war in his deck so yeah okay, he's gonna get rid of the husk and i'm worried now because it's hard for me to and i'm gonna draw and there's gonna be more stuff okay a new route let's let's just Draw the Rot Eater, and I guess I'll play the Nuru this turn. That doesn't seem too bad. I'm very worried about his deck. I'll get rid of the one of the Necrogans, I don't think I need both. And, uh... I want you to survive... Hmm. You're going to be attacking. Okay, let's go like this. Let's destroy the thing that's not next to the scavenger construct right now. And my hulls is about to go away. The budding retreat is still in play. Budding retreat does affect both sides, though. Certainly helps him more than me because he'll be playing little creatures and wanting to necrogen but he he's his deck was pretty draw dependent in my opinion 
it probably has a good matchup versus my deck. Because my deck is on the slower side. Okay, so he plays Brainless there. Um, Poison is going to take a long time to kill that, so I assume he has a Curse Presence waiting for that, or a, is it going to be on a Cluster Hex or something? Hopefully it can get an attack off though. It uh, probably will. At least that means it's likely to get an attack off and it won't be just like damn cursed away. Nog Nest. And Hello Darkling down. Okay, now I will. Hmm. I'm not sure what I want to sacrifice here. A a, bl a blight seed is really really nice. But what would I play it on? I could play it on. Maybe I should save the blight seed for next turn. Do I really want to get rid of the necrogen here? It might be my win con. I already sacrificed one necrogen. I might need to do it. I'm gonna get rid of the necrogen. Yeah. Another Witch Doctor. Another Witch Doctor would be nice if I had another, uh, another human. But I don't have another human. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. I will play... The Oblivion Seeker, and actually, yeah, I'll play actually the the Rot Eater. Okay, I'll take out. I could have played the Blight Bearer there. I don't think he's too worried about. His, I, I'm leaving three idols open right now, so if he has certain combos, I think he would be able to win. So. I think this is going to survive, the new Reflush Seamstress, so probably be getting two husks spawned somewhere. I'm sure Kravit wants to get an Animavore down, like really badly. Rat King. And he doesn't have enough resources to Necro, okay good. I'm going to draw from that. Okay, so now there's a couple husks spawning. I will be able to deal damage. Looking okay. I want to dispose of these rats. I'm not sure how my resources are going to turn out, so I'm just going to start playing things. Like, actually, if I stole, can I take out the construct, right? If I soul steal that, then construct can go to seven. Not enough to take out the construct. I will. I guess I'll let this construct survive here. I'm gonna soul seal this. I don't want to get attacked by that. So I'll do that. I'll so creature comes into play. I gain more resources. So I'm going to have a maximum of nine resources this turn. And I think I'm gonna to want to use. Well, actually, I'll play the witch doctor and then a blight seed. Uh, yes. So. How do I do that? First of all, let's damage things. Um, you know, we're just gonna, we wanna get the buff on this rot eater. I will go ahead and play another witch doctor, deal damage to the idol, and blight seed. And then I'll sacrifice the blight bearer for scrolls. Uh, the Blight Seed is actually pretty effective on the Nuru because the Nuru is different, right? Because the Nuru basically makes her attack, I'm making air quotes there, not really an attack, but uh, her thing happens when, during your turn, at the beginning of it, when it goes on to zero. So that's why, like, you can do things with her in combination with Pillar Fatigue. Alright. Actually, I don't really like how I'm positioned here because my Rot Eater is open. One of my witches doesn't have a human in front of it, but luckily I lucked out there. 
nothing too bad happened. Um, well, I have a lot of stuff I can do. I will... Uh, hmm. I guess I should get the harvester out. <laughs> Do I finally take out the Oblivion Seeker? Yeah, sure. Why not? So let's just start moving about. Take out his creatures. The Budding Retreat goes away, so that makes me feel better about things. Um, I want to get humans down. So I'll get down this Trizone front there. And then I'll get down a Harvester. I will sacrifice the Brain Lice for Scrolls. No human, unfortunately, to get in front of the Rot Eater. Um, I guess I'll go with Soul Steel. I don't want to see big things happening. And I could Soul Steel again. Yeah, I'll Soul Steel again. Okay. And I guess we have enough resources to Blight Seed. So I will Blight Seed this Witch Doctor. Although, the, uh... Oh, I, I, got, I got Dominion there. I may have had really close to Lethal there. I'm not sure. But I think I'm in good shape. Look at my board. I have Dominion activated. Uh, my board's too full, actually. So I like where this is going. Yeah. Jack's like Crowd Familiars here. They, um aren't too good at clearing forge with witch doctors because you really need relentless to get through there effectively he does have quake but now i have a nine seven rod eater um and this is still going to make an attack dominion is activated for Nuru, like i said Man, that was a big turn i just made and he's going to erode yeah erode just for the ramp and uh, spawning down there kind of hurts in terms of lethal. Uh, let's sacrifice a languid for sc actually a brain lace for scrolls. Okay, so I'll take out that idol. <laughs> Should I play a watcher? He's gonna surrender. GGWP. Yeah, Watcher could have worked because of the Hus dying, and then I had this uh, this poison killing my guy as well. But he surrendered anyways, not seeing a way he could win the game. So I think that was pretty fun, and I did gain enough rating to jump into first. Not a whole lot, only two rating ahead. So uh, let's see if Anti Rad was uh, was watching. If he knows he has to play now. He was, so I think we're going to go back and forth one more time. He still might get the number one. Um, I'll certainly watch his game if he does. That'll be it, guys. So uh, thanks for watching. Look the videos and guys subscribe for more content. And sorry about the lack of videos lately. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do better than one video every couple of days or maybe every three days because other things are more interesting to me right now. And uh, I have school working on that stuff. So hopefully I go back to daily videos over the summer, but I'll still be using this channel, all, all that stuff. So, yep, I'll see you all next time. Keep on scrolling.